Hey guys, Walker here with Commercial Acoustics. This is our third video in the educational series on soundproofing, and today we're going to talk about target STCs on your project. So in previous videos, we talked about how to improve the STC of your wall. Um, the STC, as a reminder, is your sound transmission classification, or essentially how many decibels your wall blocks, how much sound the wall blocks. Uh, but different walls seem to block different amounts of sound, and there isn't any standard guide to tell you all the STC ratings you need. So here, we've compiled a list of target STC ratings based on a number of inputs. The one you'll be most familiar with is the International Building Code, IBC 1207.2, which basically says for a resonance to resonance or resonance to corridor, you need to hit an STC 50 or higher. So what other target STCs do you need? Uh, so hotel rooms, for instance, the hospitality chains, uh, those are generally um, driven by brand standards. So it's not a building code requirement, but it's something that a hotel wants to achieve. And for hotel room to hotel room, you can see you want to hit a 55 or higher. Hotel room to corridor, uh, there's a lot of traffic out there in the corridor, the hallway, but that's generally limited by the door into the space. So if the door is only blocking 35, there's really no reason to make your uh, corridor wall a 60 or higher. Um, classrooms are generally driven by ANSI S12 or LEED version 4. Um, and classroom to classroom, a lot of times you want to hit a 50 or higher, whereas classroom to restroom or classroom to mechanical space, you definitely want to be 60 or higher. Um, for hospital rooms, uh, the guideline there is called FGI, or which is facility uh, guidelines, and you want to be a 45 plus, whereas movie theaters are a special animal where STC needs to be 65 or higher, but low frequency is particularly important. So what makes movie theaters unique? One thing is that once you get above STC 60, STC alone isn't a good enough measure. Movie theaters need good low frequency attenuation so that you don't hear rumbling from adjacent auditoriums. So now that we've gone over the various target STC ratings, you should know what they sound like. Uh, with an STC of 30, loud speech is going to be clearly audible from the adjacent space. Uh, once you get to a 40, it's faintly audible, and a 45 or higher, it's inaudible. You might hear some murmured voices, but you're not going to hear the words anymore. And that's why all of the target STCs we have are at 45 or higher. Uh, all the time, architects and contractors are asking for an STC 70 wall. It really doesn't exist. You would need 12-inch thick stainless steel with an air gap in there. 65 or higher is for movie theaters. So what you want is to set your target STC based on what level of privacy you want, and then just ensure that your wall design actually achieves that target. So thanks again for joining us today. We went over target STCs and what those actually sound like. Uh, with previous videos, we looked at STC ratings and what's actually achieved with your design wall assembly. Next week, we're going to talk about the triple leaf effect and how that can diminish your STC in the field. Uh, if you're looking for a more comprehensive list of target STCs, please look at our Architectural Acoustics Handbook in the notes below, and thanks for joining.